What's going on guys, welcome to the video. We're gonna start off this video with a talk, okay? I got the whiteboard out, got the markers ready, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your macros, how to adjust them, when to adjust them, and essentially teach you everything you need to know to finish off summer shredding on your own. You don't have to outsource anything, you don't have to hire anyone, you don't have to go through all this information. I've simplified everything as much as physically possible, and I'm gonna give everything to you guys. So if you can, give the video a thumbs up right now. I'd appreciate it, we're gonna hop into it. So, today, we are gonna cover five topics, really. Number one, we need to find our maintenance calories. Number two, we're gonna find our protein and fat intake. Number three, we're gonna find our carbs. We're gonna talk about weigh-ins, how to adjust, and number six, we're gonna get shredded. So we're gonna start off with maintenance right now. So this is Nabil. Uh, here you can see on the board, we have him right here. Now Nabil is 5'9", 180 pounds, and about 20 to 23% my estimation is body fat. Now I'm gonna hand the camera over here. Here's what we have, guys. We have a scale. We're trying to find how many calories does Nabil need to eat on a daily basis to maintain his body weight. So through all of his activity, he's videoing all day, he's running around, he's editing on the laptop, he's working out a few times a week. How many calories does he need to maintain his weight? And how do we find that? This is what we're gonna do. We're going to get our body weight. Here's our formula. So I'm gonna write formula. It's going to be 180 pounds, so it's body weight, right here, body weight, times 14 to 16. Okay, so let me do that math real quick. We multiply 180 times 14 gives us 2,520. We multiply 180 times 16 to get 2,880. Okay, now, this is what we have to do. We have to decide, this right here, 14 to 16, this is a scale, just like this scale over here, this is a scale. So. 14 is gonna be a little bit less active, 16 is gonna be super active based off your activity, based off your daily job. Are you running around? Are you taking the kids to soccer practice? Are you playing sports? Are you, or are you working a desk job and sitting down for most of the day? Uh, me personally, I would place myself, even though I'm like a fitness guy working out frequently, I still don't have a lot of activity throughout the day. I'm still sitting at the office a lot. I'm on FaceTime calls, I'm on my computer hours and hours a day. I'd probably be about 14 to 15. Now, Nabil, I would assume you're probably around, say, 14 and a half, yeah. right? Or you wanna say 15? I wanna say 14. 14, you wanna say 14? Okay, so we're gonna say 14. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the 2,520 calories. So Nabil's, Nabil maintenance equals 2,520. Now, that is his maintenance calories right here, okay? But we want to shred down, we wanna get shredded, we wanna lose body fat. So we have to subtract a number from this number. Now, the number I recommend to subtract, you can do maybe 300 calories, you can start there, even 250. Uh, you can go 500, you could even go like 550, 600. I really wouldn't push more than that uh, because you create a bigger and bigger deficit and you don't wanna do that too early during this prep. You have a lot of time, you don't wanna rush it, you don't wanna shock it, you wanna like, you don't wanna start by cutting your food drastically. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna subtract. Here's my golden number, and I recommend to you guys, 500. That's gonna give us 2,020 calories. So this right here is a number that we need. This is gonna be our target. We're not trying to hit our maintenance, we're trying to hit a caloric deficit so we can shred down. We're subtracting 500 from maintenance, and that's the number. So we're gonna use that later on, but now I'm gonna show you guys how to find your protein and fat. All right, before I go over protein, I just wanna say that there are a ton of studies supporting creating a formula using body weight. There's a lot saying you need to use your lean body mass, but what I am doing here is super simple, and honestly, like I feel like this works for the vast majority of people. So for our formula, we're gonna go ahead and use our body weight. Just like we did to find our mains, so we're gonna use our body weight, multiply that times 0.75 to 1.25. Okay, so this is gonna give you a range. And you're gonna notice a lot when you're finding macros, it's all about ranges and you have to find that kind of, you have to put yourself, you have to be honest with yourself, evaluate yourself and put yourself where you think you should be. So, and that's grams of protein per pound of body weight. So here's our scale. All right, 0.75 is over here. One's right in the middle, one gram per pound of body weight. 1.25 is over here. The people that are gonna have less protein, the people that don't need as much protein, I just wrote a bunch of examples. Excess body fat, uh, you may not have much muscle, you may be fairly new to training, you may be overweight, you may be unhealthy. If you, have, if you fall under this category, if you're a higher body fat percentage, you need less protein than someone who's super shredded that's gonna be competing in two weeks. So I want you guys to use 0.75. 
Now, who's gonna have one gram of protein per pound of body weight? I feel like that's the most universal sort of thing that we hear, which is fine, but my problem is it doesn't account for a person that's a 10 to 12 percent body fat should not have the same protein as someone who's a 40 percent body fat the person that has a 40 should be over here in this range the person that's a one gram is in shape let's say sub 20 percent body fat they maybe can see a little bit of abs they're in shape they've been training you know four or five days a week and i feel like this right here is the majority of people females this is it's the same exact info for females and males i'm talking about right here this one gram is sort of like the golden area honestly i stay around this uh, range for most of the year but with that said as I get super super lean I'm competing I'm summer shredded I'm, I'm super shredded <laughs> uh, I'm training a ton six days a week I'm doing a lot of cardio on top of my training I'm sub 10 11 percent body fat that's when you you see all this, this all this stuff and the abs are crazy the veins are popping when I get to that level I increase my protein so as I get leaner throughout prep I'm getting leaner 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 I'm dropping weight and shredded I'm increasing my protein and this is sort of like the cap that I'll put. I don't really go any higher than that, uh, to be honest. I don't really see the point, at least for myself. And that's what I'm recommending to you guys. Again, I am not the the, the say all be all. I I am telling you guys what I do. Okay. So that is how you find your protein. So let's look at Nabil for example. Here's Nabil again. He's right here. Look, did you see him? He's 180 pounds. About uh, I kind of had him show my physique, and I'm gonna post some pictures of body fat on the screen for male and female. I'm gonna put Nabil around a 20%. So obviously he's around this, he could have a gram per pound if he wants, he could even have a little bit less. Uh, my kind of saying is like a little bit more never hurts, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put Nabil right at one gram per pound. So he's gonna have 180 grams of protein per day. All right, the next macronutrient we're gonna talk about is dietary fat. Fat is essential. You need fat in your body to survive and to function. Our formula is gonna be our body weight, once again, times 0.3 to 0.4, another range. So we're using Nabil as an example. He's 180 pounds for him. His numbers are 54 and 72. I wrote that in black down here. Now, again, we have our scale. Now, what does the scale mean? The people that enjoy carbs, right? The people that wanna eat the rice cakes and the rice and their their pastas or their, their bread, their carbs, they give them life, right? They love carbs. They're gonna to lean towards a little bit lower of a number. They're gonna to wanna to pick maybe the 0.3, maybe three, uh, 0.325. Now, if you wanna go smack dab in the middle of the 0.3, 0.4, that's kinda of like, ah, quote unquote, whatever. Uh, I don't really have a preference, I just want to Give me a number, I'm gonna follow it, I'm gonna see how I feel and I'll adjust it later, which is totally cool. Honestly, like that's pretty much what I do. I just kind of put myself smack down in the middle and I'll adjust it as I go. And the people that want to start out at point four uh, are the people that know that they love fattier foods. They love their nuts, almonds, cashews, they love their butter, peanut butter, almond butter, whatever it may be, and all your diet, your fat sources. Now, for me personally, I'm more of a carb guy, so I tend to have a little bit lower fat. I I choose to have a little bit lower fat and more carb. Would Nabil, what are you what do you like? Um, low fat, more carb. Low fat, more carb. So Nabil is going to be closer over here. So what we're going to do is we are going to put Nabil. I don't like the number 54, so we're going to put 55 grams per day. And one thing I want to note is that. You need fat, right? You need dietary fat to function. But after you have, after your body has a certain amount of dietary fat, you're good. Like you're covered. You're good. Your organs are good. Your your, your health is fine. And so carbs are a little bit better source of energy for your body to utilize, especially in training and and just for literally energy for the gym and for daily life. And so it's important to note that carbs help performance more than dietary fat. And so that's honestly why with most of my clients, if they don't mind having a little bit less fat, I'd rather them have more carbs, have more energy, have more gym performance, and that's more beneficial in the long run, in my opinion. But with that said, I've also had a lot of clients in the past where they see better results on a higher fat, lower carb diet. The only way to do this, guys, is you have to test out everything you have to see what works for you what you enjoy and honestly like if you feel better over here with this sort of diet then you're gonna do better you're gonna see better results if you feel better over here it's just like if you don't enjoy your training you're not gonna see great results you have to like enjoy what you're doing so it really comes down to a lot of trial and error but this is gonna give us a starting point of where to begin now we're gonna talk about carbs all right the final macro we're gonna cover is going to be carbs before we talk about carbs I need to show you guys this we have P we have F we have C protein fat carb 
each gram of protein, so one gram of protein is equal to four calories per gram, one gram of fat is equal to nine calories, one gram of carbs is equal to four calories, and then we have alcohol, we're gonna talk about later, but that's seven calories per gram. So, for example, if you have 20 grams of protein, you have 80 calories. If you have 10 grams of fat, you have 90 calories. 10 grams of carbs, you have 40. Now, here's what we have to do. We remember from the very first thing we found, the very first number, we found the maintenance calories and we subtracted 500. So that number for Nabil was 2,020. This is super important. This is how we're gonna find our carbs. We have 180 grams of protein. So we're gonna write protein, we're gonna write P. We have 180 grams that we already decided for him. And we're gonna multiply that times four. Now for fat, we've already set Nabil at 55 grams. So for fat, we set him at 55. We're gonna multiply that times nine. And we're gonna find these two numbers. 180 times four, that's 720. And we got 55 times nine, 495. So now that we have 720 calories and 495 calories, these are calories, and so are these. Look at that common denominator. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this. You get five, you get 11, you get 12. So 1,215 calories. Now what we do, we take this number, 2,020. We're gonna subtract 1,215. And we're gonna get, well, I haven't done math in a very, very long time. Uh, five, zero, um, eight, zero. So 805 calories. From here, we divide this by four, and we do four because again, a carb has four calories per gram. 805 divided by four is going to be, I believe, two, 201 grams. Yeah, 201 grams. So Nabil's carbs are gonna be at 200 grams. So we finally have Nabil's macros. We have them at 180 protein, 55 fat, 200 carb. Now, oh my gosh, it seems a little bit low and I agree, but remember this, Nabil chose to go with the number 14. When we had that range 14 to 16, I would have probably put him at a 15. It's okay to start a little bit higher uh, as opposed to just kind of like setting yourself at the back. So that's almost like, you want, you're, it's almost like you decided to go more aggressive on purpose. If you were to go with the 15 or even 16 uh, and pick a little bit higher of a number, the carbs would be higher. The protein and the fat would stay the same, but your carbs would be higher. So that leads me to my next point, which is gonna be how do you manipulate these into your weigh-ins to be sure you see constant progress. So what I have here, I have my last 13 days, so tomorrow's officially day 14, two weeks of my dieting, okay? And I've weighed myself every single morning on an empty stomach after using the restroom. Now, this is pretty basic math, but the reason I weigh myself every morning and not every week is so I can do this. So we wanna take our average weekly weigh-in. Now, I'm gonna have to do this off screen since it's gonna take me kind of a little bit to do it, but what we do to take the average, we take our starting weight and then we do seven days, okay? So we have day one through day seven. I'm gonna add up all these numbers and divide by seven, that'll give me my average. Then I'm gonna take day eight all the way to day 14. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm 182 tomorrow. Um, I'll use that as an example. But then I'll take my week two average and I'll do those right now. I started out at 187 pounds two weeks ago. My week one average, so after I added everything up, divided by seven, gave me 185.2. So that's about 1.8 pounds lost. And then on my week two average, I was 184.0, which is about 1.2 pounds lost from week one. So as you can see over here, I kind of wrote out very, very generic. Again, let's look at the camera over here. Very, very, very generic numbers. Uh, especially if you're at higher body fat, you start dieting, you start changing your diet, you start working out and doing cardio, you may see more than, for men, one to two pounds per week. You may see a, a little bit more than that at the beginning, but trust me, that's gonna slow down. Um, but one to two pounds a week per men is what I kind of recommend, general, generally. Women, I'm going 0.5 to 1.5 pounds per week loss. And that's sort of like a, again, a very ballpark number, but just be sure you're making constant progress. Now what happens, for example, if on week three, I know I use my weigh-ins for example, um, this is not Nabil's weigh-ins, but say week three, I was 180, uh, 3.8, right? I only lost 0.2 pounds on average. Then what I would do when looking at these numbers, I recommend pulling a little, very, very little bit from carbs. So you can pull from carbs 
Or another option you could do, you could add a little bit of cardio in. So if you're not doing any cardio and this happens, maybe you want to add in one to two sessions a week. You do a list, you could do a hit. I went over those in the video, which I linked down below the cardio video. But it's a balance of lowering the carbs just a little bit, increasing cardio. So starting from maybe zero to one sessions a week, you're increasing this so you don't have to decrease this too much. And every once in a while, I may decrease the fat just a tiny bit. I know he was already at 0.3, but if you guys, I forgot to talk about it. If you look back at the footage, I drew like a little arrow uh, pointing this way. So it was like 0.3 and a little bit. Just I'll bring my fat down just a little bit. My fat honestly rarely fluctuates throughout my prep. Uh, I personally usually stay within like 55 to 65 grams. And that's sort of like where I say literally until a show day. Um, but with Nabil, I would be okay with maybe, maybe bringing him down to like 52, uh, maybe even 50 grams. Uh, so he didn't have to keep bringing his carbs down if he didn't want to. Um, so that's really it. It's literally, you want to keep your protein the same. And as you get leaner, you may want to increase it a little bit. You're going to tweak your carbs, tweak your cardio. And if every once in a while, you may want to bring your fat down a tiny bit, just to be sure that you're still seeing the progress. Uh, I do want to say that if you've been dieting for a very long time, if you are already very low calorie and low macro, you may need to, and you're not losing weight and you're doing your cardio, you're training really hard, you're tracking, you're actually tracking correctly, you may need to take a diet break. And I've had a ton, a ton of clients that have had that, have, they've been dieting for eight months, nine months, a year, trying to lose weight. And if you continue to try to push, push, push your body, it's going to stop. It's going to to go in the survival mode, quote unquote. That's a very sort of like bro term, but you may need a diet break and that happens. Trust me, it happens with competitors, that happens with YouTubers, that happens, that's happened with me before where you have to take some time to rebuild your metabolism by increasing your food. Um, so it's just, I can go into so much more depth. Um, I've been doing coaching for years and years and years and this is how I really train my clients and I feel like this is a lot of really valuable information. Um, the last thing we had to talk about was number six, just get shredded, right? So if you guys enjoyed this talk, I have a whole vlog that's about to play. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you learned something. And we're gonna go into more depth on refeeds, on even more adjustment depth. We're gonna go into so much stuff really, really soon. So stay tuned to the channel. Enjoy the vlog. All right, so before we play the intro, uh, the Beal's actually gonna start following these macros tomorrow but I feel like 200 is a little bit too low of a starting point because I think he's a little bit more active than he thinks. So I'm gonna put him at 220 grams and we'll start him off at let's say two cardio sessions uh, for his first week to kind of see what happens with his body. So, now So out of line every time that you call my name I want to make your move but I'm scared to say it. Good morning guys, welcome to the video. As you can see right here, we have hit a new little weigh in of 182.6 pounds. If you guys watched yesterday's video, we had a really high fluctuation uh, due to sodium. But here on day 13, we're over three pounds down. 182 point, what was it? Six. Six. That is our lowest weigh in of the entire prep out of 13 days. And tomorrow actually marks two weeks of prep. So, uh, yeah. Wake up! I need you to put on a little makeup. You gotta wake up! Wake up! Mm. For breakfast, I had half of a grapefruit. I had a bite meal and one Dan Light and Thick Greek yogurt. And we're about to head to the gym to the workout with Sholly. He just got his wisdom teeth out. All, okay, get this. In one day, he got all four wisdom teeth out, a whitening, and braces on the back of his teeth all in one day. So he's finally like recovered enough to go to the gym, so we're gonna work out with him. Um, and he's about to go back to San Antonio for a few days. Why are you leaving? Because all you do is push it. I know you're gonna miss me and all, right? Listen, this. Ow! 
Ew. You want this in the front? Will you guys look how much Nala hair is in the back of this? She's worth it. Like, you, everyone thinks they can have Esky. They don't want to deal with the, the man. Yeah. You want this in the front? That's okay. You can just leave it back there. See you later. I'm going to pretend like she hits me. I was like, where'd he go? It's taken a while to get this far. I'm caught in the way. It's to win them. Cut up to date at new with the new country countdown. You'll also win. I know. So, Becca, just text, tell them what's going on. Yeah, the internet's out in the area. And you know what's so weird? The internet's out at the house, too. No! Yeah, that's why we, well, we, well we're gonna work out, but Internet yeah. apocalypse. Yeah, there's no internet, there's no YouTube. We're gonna die. I give myself 12 hours before I hit the ground. Probably just late to work out, because you bought a projector. On what screen? It's 4K. For what? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, you I mean, got stopped on the road, and some guy was like, um, hey man, like you look like a cool guy, whatever. Like, I have five uh projectors that I'm supposed to be installing, and I want to. <laughs> you, you bought you a bought stolen, stolen projector from you a guy off the yeah. side of the street? Yeah, you think it's stolen? Yes. yes. Racing colors after dark in your heart. I believe in you the way you pull me in. Can't pretend. I beat Russell at 2K the one time I played him and he talked all this crap about how he's like the best. And then he always walks around, the, he like runs around the gym like shooting air basketballs, acting like he's like the best basketball player in the world. I tweeted him and I was like, yo, I challenged Russ Swole to a game of one-on-one. -on -one. It's super windy, super sunny, can't even open our eyes. We'll see who the true winner is. What's up? You got anything to say? Uh, don't believe the hype, man. Don't believe the hype. We just finished up legs. Like I, I just finished up squatting, bro. This isn't my real conditioning. I'm tired. That's me. Hell no. Do you have half times? That's it. That's it. you're getting the breath out of me. Woo! A little out of shape. I'll get this on IG so I'll finish score. The champ is here! The champ is here. That's probably the worst game of basketball y'all have ever seen in your lives. But I won. This is a very rare moment where Nala lets me hold her. It's not gonna last long if she's getting annoyed. Guys, look at this. Jeez. 
Yeah, that's you. Kitchen is a mess right now, but I just cooked up a full package of 96.4 ground beef, and now I have two packs of this, uh, these zucchini spirals, which I showed you guys macros in a different video, but they are insane. A whole pack is only 12 carbs, eight fiber, four grams of protein, zero fat. So I've got two of those cooking up. I'm gonna season this with some sea salt and some garlic pepper. Here we are, six ounces of 96.4 and two packs of zucchini noodles. I don't know if you guys can like tell how much food that is, but 24 carbs in this whole thing. 24 carbs? In the whole thing, bro. Really? Yep. Damn. Yes. You, know, you, you don't even like zucchini. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to day two of the vlog. I just weighed in at a hundred, I don't remember, I'm gonna put it on the screen right now, 182 point, 183 point something. And that's my second list weigh-in, so I'm feeling really good, really confident right now, really happy with the end of week two. That was day 14, so I've officially been dieting for two weeks. Whoa, didn't put it in park. All right, <laughs> all right. I'm about to have myself a red up which is like the best fruit punch tasting energy drink you're ever gonna have in your life. I told myself when I started summer shredding, I was going to care more about like my keeping up with myself, I guess, and so I've been trying to get a haircut once every seven to 10 days or so, ideally once a week, but I started off on Mondays and then it kinda like went to Tuesdays, now it's on Wednesday. I come to Noe, who's my barber here, to get all the sides done, he trims my beard, and then I go to Anita, who's a, my hairstylist, and I go to her like once every six weeks or so just to cut the top. So I actually don't touch the top for like five to six weeks, but I trim the sides every week essentially. Here's the before. And, all right, so here is the haircut. It's actually pretty much bald right here, uh, which is how I like it. It's kind of like this, it feels really weird. Trim the beard, got the hair that I didn't touch up top, don't have any product in it or anything, but Noe, who's my barber, is actually doing the online summer shredding competition. So far, for the first two weeks, he's been kind of cleaning up his diet, not tracking anything, just trying to eat some more protein. So I was all right, man, well the next step after kind of cleaning everything up is gonna be to track your macros. He goes, man, I, everyone tells me like it's so easy once you figure out how to do it, but I just don't know how to do it. Well, I go, you gotta watch tomorrow's video, which is this video, to find out like how to get your numbers. And then I'm gonna make a separate video, probably like within the week, of how to actually track track using an app, my fitness pal. So I'm gonna like literally show you guys step by step how to track every type of food, your protein sources, your veggies, your your fruits, your things that don't have barcodes, and just go into depth with that. And he goes, man, you're, you're giving out, like that's a lot of, that's all your secrets, bro. You're giving out your secrets. This series is giving a lot of information and I just hope that you guys can take advantage and write these things down, apply them, and hopefully just spread whatever you learn here to your friends that don't watch the videos, to people that you could help, to your parents that could uh, kind of maybe lose some weight, drop some body fat, be healthier, and live longer. And yeah, it's just, uh, this is a great platform to give the information. I'm not asking for anything in return other than your support. Um, give the video a thumbs up and just enjoy the content, which is the mission. So, I appreciate it. All right guys, we made it back from Apple, and I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, first thing is I lost my AirPods, so I picked up a new pair. I lost these like two months ago, and they're my favorite workout headphones. I haven't had headphones also summer shredding, and I need some to help eliminate distractions. So, restock on these. I picked up some more phone chargers for the house, because we never have phone chargers, they just disappear. Probably majority my fault, but anyway, uh, these are the ones I get. I got three of them. These are called like the Native Union Night Cable. They're 10 feet long and they have this weighted ball on the cord and so it's more convenient than you could ever imagine. Highly recommended. And with that, you need to get three of these guys, little USB things. And the final thing I got was a pair of headphones for Derek. So it's kind of like, what month are we in, bro? April. Oh. April, March, about like in April. end of first quarter. It's a small little gift. I like to do that a few times a year if I can. So I just got Derek some Power Beats because I called his wife Ashley and she said he didn't have any workout headphones and he likes these so I got these for him. And then I tried to get Becca uh, like a Sunglass Hut gift card because I know she's like super into fashion and like weird stuff, like not weird stuff, into high-end fashion stuff. I had no idea what kind of sunglasses she would want so I tried to get a gift card. They didn't have any gift cards. And so I was gonna get her like something for Twitch streaming because she plays a lot of games, but she already has like a mouse and 
headphones, and apparently people were really picky with their mouses, so I didn't know which one to get. So I got her a Fashion Nova gift card. Mice. Mice. Mouses. Mouses. Mice. Mice. Okay. No. <laughs> Look at this range. It looks identical to mine, and uh, but something what happened here. Oh, they jacked his ADV tires. I'm oh, no, sorry, ADV wheels, and they jacked his uh, his calipers. Matt, uh, Matt at his house. Imagine coming outside having all your wheels just taken off freaking sucks but it's, it's funny how this looks identical to mine but uh so the reason we're here guys is we are actually going to change up the brake calipers on my car i know i got them done blue and they look super sick and i am a perfectionist and so this is kind of annoying but to me the blue is just a little bit too dark so if we look at the blue on the caliber right here i don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up it definitely looks brighter on the camera than in person, but if we, here, let me turn this down so you can maybe see this better. Okay, so if we put this blue right next to it, uh, it's a very subtle difference, but this is about, I would say, I don't know, 30% lighter or so than that blue, and I want the blues to match the up can. So uh, we're just gonna get a lighter shade of blue put on the range. Call me picky, call me annoying, but. No, I got him, I got him. We wanna do it right. Do you see the new, the new range? I didn't, is it, is it in here? Is uh, 2018? Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So this is the they just updated the Range Rover body and inside. Uh so this is the brand new one. That's a nice screen. Mm -hmm. What what are the Range what are the exterior thing. changes though? On this one? Well, this is a sport, right? Yeah, this that's, that's, that's the sport for sure. Yeah, very subtle differences you can t yeah, it looks more futuristic for sure. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I, th I thought about upgrading to like a new year because my warranty's about to run out. But after like the accident and everything, I'm yeah. just like, I'm just gonna keep it keep and it. run it to the ground. Use and, it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, cool. All right, thank you, Butch. Welcome, brother. I just pulled Derek out of the warehouse. I was like, Derek, I need to talk to you in the office. He's like, okay. I'm actually just giving him these. What up? Got you a gift, man. You got me a gift? Yeah. Oh shit. Heard you were out of what? workout headphones just for. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. You're welcome. You like Honestly, those? Honestly, like, I've been using Becca's. I know. She keeps them I, I, I called Echo. <laughs> really? <laughs> she, like, hides them in her office and she told me where they were, so every time I don't have headphones, I'll, uh, I'll look for them. Do you wipe them off after? <laughs> Current business issue is that we are trying to figure out something with movement because my discount codes keep getting leaked out, which is very frustrating. And because we keep having to change my code, it's frustrating for me, frustrating for you guys, confusing for you guys, and also annoying for movement because it's very hard for them to get proper analytics and numbers, which is just a pain. So we're trying to find a solution with movement. Becca's been on calls this morning. Um, I'm gonna hop on a call pretty soon. But hey, Becca, I got you something. Yeah? Yeah. But it? it doesn't, I'm gonna send you a picture of what it is. Okay. Okay, I'm sending it right. And I sent it. I'm ready. It's coming. Did you get it? Nope. There it is. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fashion Nova. What's up? <laughs> I tried to go. So, my original idea, I was going to, I went to Sunglass Hut. I was gonna do a gift card for sunglasses, which I figured you'd pick something really cool. They didn't have any cards, they don't sell online. So then I tried to go to Best Buy, and I was like, Joe, like, should I get like, something for streaming? But I feel like people are really picky with their mouse and the keyboard and stuff, so he's like, I already everything. So now I was just like, I don't have a. Fashion Nova, you can't go wrong with Fashion Nova. I don't have a, a webcam for streaming yet. Oh, you should have told me that. I would have got you that. Because I, I feel like that was more thoughtful. I should, he should have told me that. I thought that was more thoughtful than that, but. That I don't works. have any stream set up. I just have like uh, my gaming mouse, my gaming laptop. I just don't have anything like to mm. stream. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm well, you what? I'm about to register for your tax exemption for the media company. Ooh, what company? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, it's an off day, and so I feel like there's not too too much to film. I'm just gonna kind of do some more work today, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of meals. Cause I already did all the macro talks. So I'm gonna show you more meals in the next episode. So stay tuned. Love y'all. Give you a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Yo, Nabil and I are about to take this thumbnail. I went to Dairy Queen, the Whataburger, uh, to Starbucks to get like some props, you know? Uh, I was gonna take a, a bite of this burger, like pretend like I am, for the thumbnail. And look, this is from, where's this from? Burger King or Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen? Yeah. Oh my God. You see that? Wait. Wait, can you can't really see that. I'm just gonna pull it out, bro. It's literally- Oh my God, oh my God. 
Oh my, bro. What the? F Bruh. That's a long wait, hair. Wait, wait. I wish you could see it better. Oh, there you go. You just moved it. You just moved it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right there. Yeah. No. That is disgusting. That was underneath the patty. That is so gross. Bro, can you see how long it is? That's like. That's oh! That long, bro. That's disgusting. <laughs> Okay, you're taking a bite of that one, not of that. Oh! Okay, we'll see you next video.